Hey guys, what is going on? It is Deboki here once again. It is time for another little comfy adventure. Here I am on Pillow Mints. I am level 187, and actually I was not planning on recording this part. I was just going to do this off camera, but I decided, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot and give you guys a little cubing video. There is a huge cube sale that's happening right now in GMS at the moment, and I want to go ahead and get the Pillow Mints a little bit more pillowy. I just woke up, so I am still half asleep right now. And I, like I said, I wasn't planning on filming this, but I thought we'd go ahead and hopefully get some good cubing in. Off camera, what I did was I did get myself this Ayami's treasure belt, the Kana's treasure ring, and the Hayato's treasure. So three pieces of accessory here that we're gonna go ahead and work on. Um, th this quest guys, I didn't want to film this because this is just a brutal quest. It's a really long one and it's, <laughs> it does, it does take some time and patience to get through it, but nonetheless did it. So now we got three accessory pieces that we can go ahead and hopefully get Cuban and going. I'm just going to go ahead and pull out my maces really quick here as well as hopefully find some epic potential scrolls. You know what? I'm just going to pull out like two bill. All right. Two bill is what we're going to go ahead and give ourselves Epic potential scrolls. Let's hopefully this uh, this Legion shop guy has some here. 140 coins for three. We need three, so let's go ahead and buy three epic potential scrolls. I hope every 50% works, but we know how these go sometimes. It's a bit it's a bit rough. Um, let me sell these equips also so we don't get confused. Kana's treasure, Ayami's treasure, and. The Hayato's belt. Wait, did I just drop it? Oh, okay, okay. Scared me just a little bit. Um, actually, with all this on, let's go ahead and see. Sorry, I know I just took it off. Let's go ahead and see what our range is really quick here. Range is 194,000. Now, hopefully, these epic potential scrolls will work. Bada boom. Bada bing. Oh, okay, there's one. Money? Okay, that one failed. That sucks. Okay, that one worked. We can just use a regular potential scroll. We'll we'll go through the um the rough way. I really highly suggest you guys finding epic potential scrolls in order to uh to cube your items or to start cubing, but you know what? It's fine. I'm I'm a little bit eager. Let's go for it. Alright, so the Ayami's treasure belt has a rare potential on there. Let's reveal these and get hopefully three lines on that. That's a nice three-er. Three-er? That's a two-er. And that is a tour. Okay. So let's go ahead and get ourselves some stamps. What I'm gonna do is actually go ahead and cube this guy with these Meister cubes that I have. Got a lot from bossing, bossing around. So let me go ahead and try to just see if we can get this tiered up with this cube. That would be nice. So we don't have to waste any of our other cubes. But usually, this is actually probably not smart. The Meister cubes are pretty good for, for later on. All right, Meister Cubes didn't do anything. That's fine. Ah, uh, we could just go like a Cult Cube in this, but that's 392 each reveal. It's just cheaper if we go into Cash Shop and get ourselves the on sale cubes. It depends on when I release this video. It'll probably be really later on into the future. Oh, there's some really cute stuff in here. But there is a pretty nice cube sale that's happening. 495 mil for 30 black cubes and 270 for 30 red cubes. So what I think I want to do is buy... 60 black cubes <laughs> that might be a bit ambitious and then i'm just gonna buy probably a few batches of red cubes here let's buy 90 red cubes oh my gosh so the goal is to tear up these items to hopefully legendary or a good unique stat we'll settle with like 15 percent decks or something like that so let me go ahead and go with the ring first the ring is pretty gnarly um, we're not going to settle with anything epic. Oh my gosh, right? When I say that, it hits me with a 12% dex. I don't like that. Dude, are you serious? 12% dex on an epic? Well, these are black cubes, so it's fine. Um, so let's go ahead and just stop cubing that for a second. And let's go ahead and start cubing the shoulders here. Try to get this tiered up. Please don't give me a good epic stat. Oh my gosh. I was, I was about to freak out. I thought the defense was another dex line. So we're going to try to get ourselves to a unique roll here. Hopefully. Hopefully. I'm really hoping. 
There it is. All right. I'm going to actually throw some red cubes on here just to kind of, well, dang, these are getting there super fast. <laughs> That's 15% dex. Okay. So that we'll go ahead and settle with now. I have 102 red cubes and I'm already at 15% dex and 12% dex on this ring. Well, let's go ahead and try to tier this guy up. I'm going to go ahead and throw a few black cubes on here to hopefully get a quick tier of epic. Um, oh, this just feels so nasty to do, using black cubes on a rare like this. Oh man, I don't like it guys. I really don't like it. That, this is so expensive. Wow, 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 hold on a second. Hold on a second, let's throw some reds on here. Okay, there's the epic. So we got it to epic finally. That took way too many cubes to get it to epic. Um, this belt is already feeling a little gross. Let's go and throw some black cubes on here to try to get it a quick tier to unique. Hopefully. Really hoping that it can be a little kinder with me here. I can tell this belt is pretty stubborn. But, you know, usually when they're stubborn at the beginning, they'll result into some good fruitful adventures later on down the line. This is... Okay. There we are. Unique 9% dex. So 9% dex I'm not going to really settle with. So let's go ahead and throw on some more black cubes on here. Um, try to see if we can get this to another tier up. Actually, yeah, I think black cubes should be fine. I like the black cube chance to tier up. I feel like black cubes do have a little bit of a higher chance to tier up. That could all be in my mind. I thought that was 18% dex. Scared me for a second. But we do need to just keep an eye out for some better stats of dex. But there is that legendary. Beautiful. Alright, so legendary belt. Now we'll go ahead and throw some red cubes on here on the belt. Try to just roll for a nice main dex percent line. That is a nice main dex percent line, but let's go ahead and try to get two dex lines. Is that a little too greedy? That could be the end of me. Oh, it's giving me another chance to pull out. There's dex plus 12% again. Um, we're just going to try. Try one more time. We'll, we'll settle for the next main dex line. We're going for, we're trying to see at least 12. Oh my gosh. Gentle straws. That is a nasty three-liner right there for luck. Holy smokes. All right. Well, we need to <laughs> we need to just try to get that dex line here. There it is. All right. That, this is what we were shooting for. Beautiful. 12% dex, 9% dex, 21% dex. So we got that. Well, that was a really quick, quick cube. I think I'm going to actually go ahead and try to cube this ring up a little bit more. Just get it to unique at least. Uh, I mean, get it to legendary because the rings, especially rings, they're going to be really important for late game. So this is going to be something we do want to invest in. I know that 12% dex is really juicy, but since we do have some leftover black cubes here, we should probably do it. Well, we're, we're getting rid of the 12, but that's okay. And the reason being is because later on when we get into the the legendary tier, this will have 12% on the main line. So it's, it's fine. We're going to actually start throwing on some red cubes now. Um, just to try to roll for a good stat here as well as try to get that tier up hopefully Because we are running a little bit lower on on black cubes. That's a nice 9% dex there But again, we're just gonna look for that tier Wow, the int in this is strong But don't worry. We're not inting not quite yet. We're going for it. Oh That's a good one. All right. We keep the 15% dex right there and I think we try to roll this into unique now with some black cubes while we are holding on to that 15% dex. We got six more black cubes left. Oh my gosh. 18, wait, 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 wait. Oh, that's just 15% again. Uh, it looked a little bit more beautiful, but this is a better roll in general. We have five more black cubes left. If we can get it to legendary, it would be wonderful. Two more left. One more? Alright, so we didn't get it into the legendary area, but we did get some pretty good rolls here. Um, we have still quite a few cubes left. I mean, we do have a bill left into the bank, which we could for surely get this up to a legendary stat, but I feel like... To be honest, right now, 
it wouldn't be really the smart play because we do have uh, a lot more room for other items to upgrade. I'm going to go ahead and try to throw some red cubes on here. What we'll settle for is 12% or I mean a lot of attack percent or of course legendary. We're going to try to tier it up to legendary. I know that attack is pretty nice with the, um, the IED on there but right now we're not really needing too much IED. Especially we're not really bossing that much. We're trying to go ahead and get something that will increase our training efficiency. That is kind of the goal here. Um, trying to avoid main stats as well. Dex percent isn't really going to be ideal on this item. Because attack just trumps all. So hopefully we do get some nice attack. Or maybe even that beautiful tier to legendary. Please, please, please. Please get it up to legendary. Um, going through all of our cubes right now, I might want to get some black cubes now to see if we can get this up there. We got our attack percent back. Okay, let me let me stop for a second. We're dipping in again. All my mesas used up. All my mesa. <laughs> Try to go in and cube our way into a legendary line here. Look at that, fifteen percent dex. That just shows you again how much attack is good for. Oh, there it is. Let's go. This is kind of hard to pass up right now. Attack plus 12%, 15% dex. I know like these two lines aren't really that great, but at least it really does help us still. Um, the attack percent there on the main line is very nice and tasty. So we're going to keep this. We're definitely going to keep that for now. There it is. All right, so we started at 195k for our damage. Let me see what we got now. 264,000. Oh my gosh. Pillow Mints is getting a bit minty, guys. We're like, we're creeping up to that mill damage range and we're getting there pretty fast. And let me tell you, we, we don't have like almost any, <laughs> any of our equips that are like needed right now. And we haven't even starred these either. Um... Man, we should definitely be starting those up. The Connor Ring is actually very good if you can star it past, I think, 15 stars. It starts to get really, really nice. Really tasty ring. All three are now um, 10 stars. Connor Treasure, Ayami's Belt, as well as the Hayato's Treasure. And we're sitting at 276 now, so we did see that increased range. I actually do want to go ahead and try to attempt CHT. I've only taken down Horntail so far at the moment. Um, and then in CHT, I'm really hoping to get earrings as well as a CHT pendant. And then from there, we can even try to upgrade the earrings and maybe the pendant just a little bit. Um, or just get another pendant slot for the CHT. But this is the hope. I don't know if I can actually take down CHT. I think CHT is a little bit difficult, but I, I really hope that I can do it. So we'll, we'll go ahead and give it a shot. This will be a good way to also flex and test out the new range, which is always exciting. So let's go ahead and get ourselves all nice and ready here. Right away, steps out of the gate with a one one -er. I think we can do it, though. The damage seems like it's going through. Looking at the health bar, looking really promising right now. Trying to just get as much as the DPS out as we can. Oh, we're hitting some big numbers out there with this snipe skill. Let's go, baby. Just, just, I don't know if it's a good idea to film a video right when you're waking up. I feel like I've been doing that kind of lately, though. Maybe it's just I'm always waking up. I'm always sleeping these days. I don't know. Get to bed earlier. It's just so hard, though, because I get the most energy and I feel like I'm just the most productive right at like two in the morning. And it's so bad because I need to wake up at like seven for work. So I need to go ahead and curve that for Shirzy's big boy on campus. See if we can take it down. Pop down our anchor of love and trust. Maybe just kind of shoot across here a bit. Maybe if we can like hit more at a time. I'm trying to figure out a good spot where I can kind of finesse more limbs with my, my straight shooting. Because usually you can have some skills that can maybe curve around and hit more limbs at a time. Uh, but <laughs> with pillow mints here, but this is actually doing some work right now. Hold on. Hold the phone. Nice. Okay. We actually took down three or maybe two. I don't know if the legs are counting as one. I think if I get on this like little platform right here, we can hit. Yeah. Oh, that little platform is a juicy spot, but it's really hard to stay on this platform. But if you can see it, um, oh man, I'm locked. But if you can see it, 
I can hit all the heads, all the arms on that little platform right here, but I just get knocked around so fierce. Oh no, I'm seduced. Don't do it, pillow mints. Don't go to the dark side. I'm just so used to, of course, Gentle Straws just bursting everything down because he's just a monster right now. But this is really cool to see pillow mints struggling a bit and then hopefully getting getting some good gainage later on down the road. Make sure that I'm still recording. That's good. And I'm not accidentally live streaming because that would be awkward. I'm just here talking to myself. Um, I did do a little bit of progression on live stream with Gentle or er, <laughs> pillow mints. Excuse me. The straw is on my mind right now. Um, we made some huge gains on the straw, by the way, but that's that's nowhere here or there. Oh, fully buffed. We're like 350k. Whoa. I like that. Oh, yeah. I need a hero. Oh, this one's just taking it right now. Oh, this is taking it right in the face. Look at it. Holy smokes. All right. One down. Almost dead. Yo, let's get it. Pillow mints. Nice. I see another ring that popped down. I see the earrings. I see the earrings. Oh, my gosh. Nice. And a chaos pendant. Ooh, this was such a huge... Huge gainage right here. Beautiful. Let me go ahead and take off all of our buffs really quick. 295k. We were starting at 195 today. So we made a 100k increase of range on pillaments, which is incredible. I'm loving it. And this is going to really help out with training and boosting that those gains there when we're training in the, the higher level mobs. So really excited about that. But anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Um, I know this video was just kind of a progression cubing video, but I hope you guys did enjoy it. I am going to go ahead and go get some breakfast and some more coffee. But like always, this has been Devoki. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be seeing you guys later. Goodbye.